Former Governor Linda Lingle enters the race for U.S. Senate and says she plans to raise a lot of money. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Republican Linda Lingle is running for the U.S. Senate seat being vacated by the retiring Daniel Akaka. And one of her Democratic opponents wasted no time criticizing her for supporting national Republicans. KITV4's Kyoki Kerr is live in the newsroom. And Kyoki, how much money does Lingle plan to raise in this race? Well, Paula, she told reporters today she wants to raise 8 to $10 million for the Senate campaign, and she's wasting no time. Lingle holds a fundraiser tonight at the Wailai Country Club, in which she told me she hopes to bring in close to half a million dollars. Your governor, the Honorable Linda Lingle. Linda Lingle was the state's first woman governor and the first Republican elected to the post since statehood. In a speech before a sales and marketing lunch at the Pacific Club today, she said it's critical for Hawaii to elect a Republican to the U.S. Senate, especially since the GOP may take control of the Senate after the elections next fall. Having a senator from each party is the very best possible situation for us because it doesn't matter which party is in control. We will always have one of our senators within that caucus and able to bring our issues forward. Republican Lingle will once again be running for statewide office in a state dominated by Democrats. Where 70 percent of the voters backed Barack Obama for president in 2008. Voters are very discerning. They're, they're not robots. They don't just go down the line. They vote what's in the interest of their family and their business in, in the state of Hawaii. And I think they're going to do the same thing here. Her Democratic opponents are already criticizing Lingle for campaigning for Sarah Palin and John McCain in 2008. Among them is former Congressman Ed Case, who's running against Congresswoman Maisie Hirono for the Democratic senatorial nomination. Lingle's record is uh, not getting along, not crossing the bridges, eight years of not accomplishing anything across the, across the aisle. Uh, and she did, in fact, go out there and endorse Sarah Palin, who is about as far right as you can get. And she wanted Sarah Palin to be the vice president of this country. And you cannot get away from that. Lingle says Democrats have repeatedly tried to tie her to national Republicans who are unpopular in Hawaii. And the reason it won't work is because the people of Hawaii know me. They know I have never put my political party before the people of Hawaii. Now, Ed Case says he expects to raise far less than Lingle, maybe one to two million dollars before the primary next August. By waiting to announce for Senate until mid-October, Lingle is able to keep her fundraising amount secret until early next year because the latest campaign spending report due over the weekend only covers the period going up to the end of September last month when she was not officially a candidate yet. Paula, back to you.